So here we have an example where Bayes' theorem is right at the center of our solution. We need to calculate with probabilities and what we the type of probabilities we are given are either marginal probabilities or conditional probabilities or potentially joint probabilities. And if you calculate with these, Bayes' theorem is right at the heart. So let me just state Bayes' theorem just to make that very clear. And I'll use notations which doesn't appear in the question, so we have to apply it. So let's say the probability of an event um, x conditional on y is calculated as the joint probability of x and y divided by the marginal probability of the conditioning of the conditioning event that's y so that's the probability of y okay and of course we could reformulate that and isolate the joint probability on the left hand side of the equation then we get the probability of x and y is equal to and how do we get that we just need to multiply both sides of the equation with the marginal probability so we then get the probability of x conditional on y times the marginal probability of y so again the marginal probability here is the same as the conditioning the it's the probability of the marginal probability of the conditioning event there's a second way how you could write that you could write you could turn this around and turn the conditioning around and then you get using the same logic that the probability of x and y is the same as the probability of y conditioning on x times the probability of x okay all of that that comes basically let me just write that here for to, for completeness from also base theorem just turning around the conditioning set okay so this leads to this and this is equivalent to this okay so this is just a revision of what Bayes' theorem tells you. Now let us apply Bayes' theorem here. Let's read through the question together. Metal fatigue in an aeroplane swing can be caused by any one of three relatively minor defects, labeled A, B, and C, occurring during the manufacturing process. The probabilities are estimated as these guys here. Okay, probability for defect A is 30%, probability for an effect B is 10% and probability for defect C is 60%. At the quality control stage of production, a test has developed which is used to detect the presence of a defect. Let D be the event that the test detects a manufacturing defect with the following probabilities. The probability of detecting a defect D Conditional on A, so conditional conditioning on this relatively minor production process defect is 60%. If in the production we get sort of mistake or problem B, then the probability of detecting the defect is 20%. So it's much more difficult to detect the, uh, a defect. And if in the production process we have problem C, then the probability that we detect a defect conditioning on the problem being C is 0.770%. So this is all just information given. If the test detects a defect, which of A, B or C is the most likely cause? Okay, and we're also given a hint here. 
calculate these conditional probabilities. So let's just do that. Let's calculate these. So let's start with this probability of A conditioning on D. So now the, this is not the same as this. This is not the same as the probability of D given A. The probability of A given D is very different. So here we now know there's a defect and we want to figure out is problem A the reason given we found a defect. Right? So that is very different to given there is problem A do we detect a defect? Right, so that's the first thing you have to understand that this, this is very different. So let's apply let's apply, apply um, Bayes' theorem. We know we need the probability of A and D divided by the marginal probability of a defect of D. Now none of these two probabilities is part of our information. Okay, we don't have a marginal probability for D and we don't have a joint probability for A and D. So that means we need to figure these out given this information. And let's actually write down before we do that these two probabilities down as well. Probability of B given D is equal to the probability of B and D over the marginal probability of D and then the third one probability of C conditional on D is the joint probability of C and D divided by the marginal probability of D. So the marginal probability of D appears in all of these three equations. So let's think about how we get the marginal probability of D. Let me do that in a different color. So probability of D. So you can think about there being three ways how we get to a defect. We are either having problem A, problem B or problem C and then to find a defect we then, if we are dealing with problem A in the production process, we then also have to figure out, we basically have to find a defect given there's A. So to get there, we need to be in the world A, defect some production problem A, and then finding that defect A. Then the same here. We either have problem B, and then given there is problem D, B, we need to find the defect. Or there is problem C, and then given problem C, we need to find the defect. So this sort of tells us all the different ways how we can get to this defect and using probabilities we write it like this. Probability of A times probability of D given A plus the probability of B times the probability of D given B. So that's this world here and then plus the probability of C and the probability of a defect given C. Now you can perhaps see, okay, you can perhaps see what these guys are here. That is just using base theorem formulated in this form, we can see that that is the probability of A and D plus the probability, this bit here, of B and D plus, and the third line here, the probability of C 
probability of C and D. So let's actually calculate these guys because these here we all have. Okay, let me do that in green. Probability, marginal probabilities of A, B, and C, they're here. And these conditional probabilities, probability of defect given A, we have here, probability of defect given B, we have here, and probability of defect given C, we have here. So we just need to plug in all of these values. So we get, I should really continue to use the green pen. So we get probability of A is 0.3 times 0.6 plus probability of B is 0.1 times probability of D given B is 0.2 plus probability of C times probability of D given C is 0.6 times 0.7. So what do we get here? We get 0.18 plus 0.02 plus 0.42. Okay, and if we add all of this together, we get what have we got here? That is 20, 0 0.62, 0 0.62. So that is this one here, probability of D. And let me use the magic of, of colors again. Let's use three different colors. This value here is this one, probability of A and D. So that's 18%. Probability of B and D, that is 2%. And the third color, let's use gray. The joint probability of C and D is 42%. Altogether, everything is 62%. So now we can go back to the conditional probabilities, which we actually want to calculate. And we can say probability a and D, that is 0.18 divided by 0.62. Then we're having 0.02 divided by 0.62. And we have 0.42 divided by 0.62. Okay, so we can then translate that into percent, that is 0.68, that is 0.29, and this one here is 3%. So now we know, given we have a defect, given our detection mechanism, our test has detected an effect, we know that the probability is highest that the defect is due to manufacturing problem C. Okay, so the probability for that it is that the problem originates with the manufacturing problem C is 68% given the data we have here.